So this short video is intended to introduce the scale puzzle. The scale puzzle is a key idea that I bring into the algebra seventh grade main lesson. I actually bring it in the second week. During the first week, they worked with very simple, we might call them one-step equations, such as 4x equals 12. The scale puzzle really is a segue into the idea of a multi-step equation. But in the first day I bring the scale puzzle, I don't mention that it has any connection to algebra. In fact, I tell the students, class, we're actually not going to do algebra today, and we're just going to, I just want to introduce to you uh, this puzzle. And so I come in and I present the puzzle just like this. And so we see on one side there are two hex nuts. On the other side are a total of nine, if you can see all of those. These hex nuts are simple hex nuts that I just buy in a hardware store. And then I have five sacks on this side and three sacks on the other. And the idea is every single sack has inside it the same number of hex nuts. And the puzzle is to figure out how many hex nuts are inside each sack. It doesn't take long for the students to realize that if you remove the same number of hex nuts from both sides, then the scale still balances. So let me do that. And we can also remove, they realize, the same number of sacks from each side. And so I'll remove all three sacks from this side. And three sacks from this side. And then we see that it is in balance. And then, of course, many students realize at this point that I kind of tricked them because now we have two sacks equal to seven hex nuts. And they realize that inside one sack is indeed three and a half hex nuts. So let me show that for a moment. If we take off the tie to this, then we can see that there are three hex nuts and a half. It's hard to find a hex nut that weighs half as much, but I stuffed it with clay a little bit to make that work. So inside each hex nut, indeed, there are three and a half. And so that's what I do actually just on the first day. Often I do it just at the end of the main lesson, just before uh, we end the lesson for the day. And then on the second day, I come back and like a science demonstration, I ask the question on the second day, what did we do? And at this point I tell them, well, this was more than a puzzle. This was actually really important in terms of our learning of algebra. And what did we do yesterday? And they recount from memory exactly what we did. It may be on that second day then I would have them write it into their main lesson books and I'll show you how that might look uh, over here now. So this is how we would represent the scale puzzle in drawing form. Uh, please forgive my lack of artistic abilities, but I think you'll understand the basic idea. And so what I will do is represent each sack with an orange circle and each hex nut with just a straight line. And so if we remember on the left side of the scale, what we had was a total of five sacks originally, and we had two hex nuts, and then on the other side we had three sacks, and we had nine hex nuts. And so what did we do next? The next thing we did is we removed two hex nuts from each side. So by removing two hex nuts from each side, we then had five sacks left on one side. On the other side, we still have three sacks and seven hex nuts left.
So the next step was to remove three sacks from each side. And by removing three sacks from each side, I then had two sacks on the left and seven hex nuts on the right. Now, of course, the last stage to solve the puzzle, we basically did in our head. And what we did is we reasoned that if there are two sacks on one side and seven on the other, that therefore, really, if we divide both sides by two, that what we end up with was one hex nut equal to three and a half sorry, one sack equal to three and a half hex nuts. And so this would, be get, this would get entered entered into their main lesson books uh, in perhaps a much more beautiful form than what I, what, I, what I was able to do here. And then perhaps the day after that, we would then introduce it as an algebra equation. And so that's what we are going to do. Instead of drawing things out as diagrams like this, I come to the realization that the scale itself is really the equal sign in each case. And of course, each sack is the unknown. We didn't know how many hex nuts were inside each sack, so each sack is represented by an x. And so here I can say that if I have five sacks plus two hex nuts, now, there's no variable attached there because we know exactly how much a hex nut is. Is going to be equal to three sacks and nine hex nuts. And what did I do in the next step? Well, it says it right here. I removed two hex nuts. So I subtracted two of those hex nuts from each side. And what happened when we did that? And I removed two hex nuts from each side, and then I'm then left with this as the equation. And then, of course, in the next step, what did I do? I removed three sacks. So I'll represent that by subtracting from each side three x's, and the result of doing that is that I ended up with two sacks, as we see here, is going to be equal to seven hex nuts. So we can think of this equal sign as being the scale, it's in balance. And so I have two sacks equal to seven hex nuts, and what was the last step? Well, the last step is that I divided both sides by 2. The left side of the scale and the right side I cut in half, or in the equation I just divide by 2. And when I do that, I end up with simply 1x, or 1 sack. Actually, 1 sack is equal to 3 and a half hex nuts. So there is my final answer. So I hope you enjoyed this explanation of how we can really lead from a puzzle, from a real world experience, if you will, for the students, something very concrete, to finally understanding how a multi-step equation works. Thank you for listening.